What is up everybody, it is your boy Laker Boy Waldo and we freaking lost again. After a blowout to the Spurs, we get blown out by the Clippers. We still run in LA, I get that, but we have a lot to improve on. So I hope you guys stick around, I'm about to go on full ramp mode. And also, Swag L, Swaggy P, he's been playing great recently and he's also been the face of a lot of trade rumors. So we'll dive into that, see if those are true, see if we should do it. And that'll be our video, so let's get it. So before we get into discussing trading swag out, let's talk about the games. The biggest con to me, what I think we need to improve on the most out of anything, is our pick and roll defense. It's atrocious, like, it's been the worst I've seen the Lakers play pick and roll defense in the last few years, and that's saying a lot thinking that Mike D'Antoni and Byron Scott have coached this team in the last few years. It's horrible. If you look at it, I mean, just the stats of the Clipper player stats, like, explains a lot. DeAndre Jordan had 24 and 21, and he only missed one shot, one fam one shot that's that's ridiculous like I don't care how good a center is there's no way someone should only miss one shot especially the way he was making the shots there's one thing if it's like a Lamarcus Aldridge and you know he's hitting all these crazy hooks but that's not how the game went down if you look at it it was all off Chris Paul pick and rolls and they were just lobs I think he had like eight dunks and that's just embarrassing like the Lakers big men like Mufe, uh, Tariq, Randall, you guys need to be on check. That is embarrassing. I mean, no matter what, no matter what, I don't care how good a center is, that's, that's too good of numbers. And okay, let's just say some of you might argue, hey, DeAndre's an elite center, he's gonna have those games. Sure, all right, I'll give you guys that. But then you look at these guard stats, not even Chris Paul, Austin Rivers. 15 points off 50% field goal. What's his face? Raymond Felton, 15.7 for 11. And if you looked at the game, they're all off pick and rolls and they're all penetration shots. And that's horrible. You you can't have these mid-tier, lower-tier guards taking over our interior. That's embarrassing. And that's not just the big men. That's that's all that's all the guards, that's Lou, that's Russell, that's Clarkson, that's all their fault too. So Honestly, I feel like that's the biggest thing we need to improve on. If we improve on pick and roll defense, we'll be an incredibly different team. Number two, um, this one's kind of interesting. I think that we need to improve on chemistry. And not in the conventional sense where, you know, people are supporting each other and liking each other. There's that. I mean, th this team loves each other. They support each other. You can see, even, even today's game, we were down by 16, but there's still people on the bench standing up clapping. There's that. But when I mean chemistry, I mean on-court chemistry um, in the sense that it doesn't seem like everyone is in unison. A lot of plays in this game were very iso ball and it's it seems like it's been kind of drifting more and more towards that. If you compare this earlier in the season, we were moving the ball, we were passing it, and that's how we were racking up Ws. But now it's starting to seem like there's more isolation going on and I really don't like that. So. I feel like that um, is something we definitely need to improve on. And it's just a matter of time because I know injuries derailed that. Once Russell, Randall, um, Nance, Black, once they got hurt, it seemed like the team kind of lost its confidence in itself. So it'll be, it'll be a matter of time till they get that back, but that is something we do need to improve on. So the last uh, thing I feel that we definitely need to improve on is our starter situation. Some you mentioned it uh, for yesterday's game as well. It's not good. It's not good. I noticed a lot of people in the comments noticed as well. It, I feel like there's something wrong with the lineup. And it's not the whole lineup. I feel like there's just some piece. And Luol Deng didn't, didn't start today. But I feel like the new starting lineup should just be kind of tweaked a little bit to D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Clarkson, moving Swaggy up to the three, um, and then having Randall and Mozgov. The reason why I think that would work a little more better is because Swaggy has shown that he can lock up some pretty good players. And if you have that offensive and defensive scoring kick on, in the small forward 
and you have Jordan Clarkson starting who can really complement D'Angelo Russell well. To, like to me, I feel like he really could. If you have that dynamic and you move Luol Deng, a veteran presence, into the bench, it seems like there'll be more stability. I know it kind of takes a little bit of the firepower away from the bench, but at the end of the day, your starters are your starters. And I feel like if we want to win more games, we're going to have to emphasize on um, making a more effective and cohesive starting lineup. So that is another thing I really feel like we should take a look into. I hope Luke is already thinking about that. All right, so enough about the cons. Let's talk about the pros. The biggest thing I saw was Brandon Ingram. He just put a huge smile to my face. Uh, it was such a dark game, but like he kind of just showed the light. He looked good. The biggest thing I liked about that is how he was patient. He didn't have too great of a first half statistically. Um, he wasn't scoring, had maybe like one shot, but but the third quarter coming out of the half, he took over. He scored 12 points, he was making these passes, he was hitting his threes, and he just seemed like he was getting more comfortable. And that's the biggest thing. Over anything, stats, wins, I think the biggest goal for us as Laker fans and the Lakers themselves is to make sure Brandon Ingram gets comfortable. Because it took D'Angelo Russell a year. and. It just will. It just will reap so many benefits. Getting that this guy comfortable in the NBA is something that I feel like every Laker fan should be patient for. I should kind of hope is going on. It'd be kind of selfish for people to think I don't care about comfort. I just want him to start scoring 20. That's what I kind of felt like earlier in the season too. But at the end of the day, I think it's good that he's comfortable. He's taking smart shots. He's not making like mistakes. And that's, that speaks volumes, so that's a huge plus for today's game. I know we didn't have too many pluses, but this was one of the big ones. Second plus is our bench. Our bench is just, I don't know, it's just Mr. Consistent. Even though Lou started because we didn't have a wall ding, our bench still kind of gave that firepower. We saw it a little bit in the third when they were making that comeback. Um, it was kind of a mixture of bench and starters, but that bench is just our firepower. And this is a perfect example of uh, earlier when I was saying we should adjust the starters, Lou wasn't in this in the bench lineup and we still had some firepower. So I could just imagine if we started Clarkson and had Lou on the bench, I feel like we would still be pretty elite bench-wise. So that's one of the things I thought was a pro, our bench is a firepower, it stays pretty consistent and it feels like everyone knows their place on the bench. Alright, last thing. Swag L, Swaggy P, he, he's, he's doing amazing, he's doing amazing and I know a lot of people have kind of been in love with him and want him to be a Laker for life but there does come the question where when we go into free agency do we really want to give this guy you know 40, 50 million for three years? He is 31, um, he's going to be going in his mid 30s soon and it seems like something that the Lakers will really have to consider. So. Uh, one of the biggest offers that I heard was Nerlens Noel for Swaggy P. Now, I don't know if that's true, but we do know that the Sixers and Nerlens is very unhappy in that situation because Jaleel and Joel Embiid are kind of log jamming the front court. So, um, I would personally take that trade. That seems like a great trade. If, if it's for Swaggy, I know he's Laker favorite, like he's won over my heart. He has a charisma, everything, but if we could get a young... Uh, talented big man out of it, I think we should go for it. Another offer is also with the Sixers, and this one actually would be my ideal one, which is Baggy P, and they will remove the protection on the pick. So to clarify, that basically means right now we are top three protected. So we would have to be the third worst team or worse to have a chance to keep our pick. But, um, if the Sixers remove that protection, that means we could fall 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, and we'd keep our pick. That seems a little more valuable to me because we can add to our core wherever we land because this draft is pretty deep. So that would be amazing. I don't know if these rumors are true, but they are something that have been spread around online and have been talked about. So it's just something cool to consider. If it's true, I would take it, but I honestly wouldn't even be that upset if we didn't. I love Swaggy. I love what he's doing for this team. He kind of has given this team a certain vibe, you know, and it's pretty cool. If you look at him, I don't know how he does it, but he will make the hardest shots consistently. And as long as he's consistent, I wouldn't mind uh, keeping him either.
So that's that guys, I hope you enjoyed it, it was just a quick little video. We lost to our hometown rivals, but it's 1-1 now, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways guys, uh, that's basically it, so please, you know, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe, and you know, follow all our Twitter handles, you know how that goes. And um, if you made it to this part of the video, somebody kind of did this too, uh, comment Cali, because, just cause, they'll confuse the shit out of people. Anyways guys, Laker boy Waldo signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.